Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a full body strength and stretch workout. All you need is some space around you, maybe a mat or a towel, and a set of resistant weights. If you don't have anything fancy, you can use something out of your pantry, cans work, anything that gives you a little bit of resistance. We're going to, my name is Vicki, I'm going to be your instructor for today. A couple things first. Remember to follow your physician's advice if you have pre-existing conditions and also have fun. Listen to your body, smile lots. It always feels good to work out. We're going to get warmed up. We're going to turn up our music a little bit. March. Excellent. We need to get those muscles warmed up, that blood flowing. Get ready to exercise. Take it wide. Perfect. Take it narrow. Excellent. Give me a little step touch. Let's cross those arms low. Good work. Four more. Three. Two. Bring those arms to chest height. Nothing fancy today. You got it. Awesome work. We're going to do some little squats. Just little, just to that them back and down. Weight in those heels, abs in. Perfect. Back to the march. Start moving those arms a little bit more. Waking up our body. Waking up those muscles. Perfect. Take it wide. Back narrow. In that step touch, cross low. Bring those arms to chest tight. Back low. Stretch past that toe behind a little bit. Chest tight. Back to those squats. Weight in those heels. Perfect. Four, three, two. March it out. Hope you're starting to feel a little bit warmer. So roll those shoulders for me. Perfect. Take it wide. In four, three, two, take it back narrow. We're gonna bring our arms up, press and lower. Press and lower. Perfect. You got it. Two more. Last one. All right, step touch. Last set of step touches before we get going on our strength. So we're gonna do four different exercises. We're gonna do each move anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds. And then we're going to do all four and then repeat again two more times. Cross to the chest. You got it. Our first move. You're going to take those feet apart, hip width. You're going to drop into the squat. Sink those bones back and down. Abs in. Stay lifted through the chest. Good. Nice work. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Awesome work. Grab one weight. Lift one heel up, hinge at those hips. Rest that hand. You're gonna pull, pull. Drawing that elbow up and behind the body. Getting a nice squeeze behind that shoulder blade. Perfect. Really isolating the one side. Four. Abs in three, two, and one. Let's work our back on the other side. Lifting that other foot. Pull that elbow up and in. Awesome. Big squeeze at the top. You got it.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Switch sides. Remember, you can start here, extend that leg back, pull, pull. Good work. Big squeeze behind that shoulder blade. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put that weight down. We're going back to our glute squeezes into the hips. This time, you can start here right where we started or lift up a little higher and try not to touch down. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Okay, switch sides. Remember, you can go back where we started, where we touched our toe down each time. Or you can lift it up, lift, lift, eight, seven, six, five, it's challenging that leg and your core, three, two, one. Nice job, pick up those weights, those bicep curls, nice and slow, good work. We got this. We're almost down round two. We have one more round of these exercises, and then we're moving on to four more. Good, let us lift that up. You can do singles, or doubles, or even a little mixture of both. Sometimes I like to do two singles, a double. Good work. Let's finish with four doubles if you can. Four, three, two, and one. Put it down. Round two done. Remember, as we go through each round, I'm showing you little options. We can always go back to the beginning, to the easier version. Okay. We're starting with our squat, so take those feet, hip width and distance apart. We're gonna start right away with those three, two, one. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. With that little pulse at the bottom, makes it a little bit harder. Three, two, one, nice. Perfect, four more. Three. Last two. Last one. Awesome. Grab one weight again. We're going back to that bent over row. This time we got a little challenge for you. Remember, foot here, here, or here. Pull it in. We're challenging that core. Maybe you need to hold on to something. Maybe you need to put that foot back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You got this. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Switch sides. Hinge at those hips. Heel up. Take it behind or lift. Your back position is nice and long. Core is nice and strong. Squeeze that in. Awesome work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gently put that weight down. We're gonna go back to those glute squeezes. A combo of both. Hinge short at the hips. We're going to do full ones. Lift, lift, lift. Four, three, two, 
Hold it up, little press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, hinge of those hips, lift. I was losing my balance at the end there. Shows we're getting tired, which is good. That's how we make change. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Okay, grab those weights. Last move. Curl. Curl. Now watch the change. We're going to curl, rotate, press, bring it down, rotate it, and down the right side. So I'm going to show you an option to combine those last two moves. You want to stay with the curl? You can. Good work. Up. Press. Good. See if we can do the fluid motion for three more. Last two. And last one. Fantastic. You guys earned a lot of weight. And good news, we're moving on to some new exercises. Okay. Just let me know that this weight is optional when we're doing our plie squats. You don't even have to have it in your hands, just have it somewhere close so you can get it in a moment. But this time we're going to take our legs out nice and wide, rotate those toes out, rotate those knees out, squeeze those glutes a little bit, weight at the chest. We're going to go down and up. Excellent. Please squat, start to get into that inner thigh a little bit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. You're going to take that weight to one hand and you're going to rotate that knee out just a little bit. Hold that weight right in front. We're going to drop into a curtsy, come up. Drop into a curtsy, come up. Chest stays lifted, shoulders are square to the camera. Looking at me, five, four. You're in control of how far you go down. Three, push up through this heel, two, and one. All we gotta do, switch hands. Same thing, arm goes up to the side. Drop it down. I want you to imagine like you have a book up on top of your head. Really push up through the floor, keeping your balance. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, other hand. You're gonna lift to shoulder height. Your entire body is nice and solid. Lift, lift. Good, four, three, two, and one. Really be conscious of lowering that weight, controlling the drop. You want to exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you go down. Good. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. And one more. Awesome. Take hands to the end of your waist. Just holding your resistance between your hands. Legs apart. Really nice strong stance. Abs are in. I want you to lift this all the way up. Drop behind, extend. So a side view for you. Just drop down, extend up. Good work, good work. 
If this is too much, you can put down those weights or you can do a traditional tricep kickback. Lift, lift, keep going. Traditional would be right here. Good, two more. And last one, nice work. Okay, you can hold on to that weight because you kind of need it for the start unless you're not using them for the plie squat. You take those legs apart again. You feel a little rested, we got this. Round two, make sure those knees are rotated out. Tuck those bones in. Nice work, remember those three, two, ones. Let's start with our regular plies first. Remember this is your option. All right, let's try the three, two, ones. Three, two, one, end up, three, Two, one, and up. Good work, good work. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, almost there. Two more. Last one. Three, two, one, and up. Take that weight to one hand. Rotate that knee out, up nice and tall. Tuck those shoulder blades in. Drop it down and lift. For some of you that need a little bit more, you can add that side shoulder if you want a little bit extra. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, switching sides. Start with the curtsy. Get your base move going first. Remember, you can stay here. Or add that side arm lift. Good. Just a shoulder height. Okay, give me four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Standing nice and tall. Slight bend in those knees. Lift to the front. Front shoulder raise. Okay. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Other side. Lift. Six more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab your weight just like this. Nice strong stance. I'll turn to the side. We're gonna lift that up. You're gonna drop that back, extend, really try, and lengthen those arms. Keep those elbows tucked in. Point it towards me. Nice. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower that down carefully. All right, so we have one more round. If you want a quick drink, go ahead and take one. We gotta finish this off. Then we're gonna hit our mat. It's almost stretch time. You guys are doing awesome today. We can do it. Take those legs apart. Stunt yourself up. Bring in that weight. Good, here we go. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. Up. Try not to lock those knees at the top. I know it's hard, you want to. Remember, you can do regular plies if that's what's working for you today. Otherwise, come down. Stay here with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay. All right. Turn it out. We're going 
drop it down. Remember, we can start with just the curtsies. Or you can add that side arm left. Still staying up. Nice and tall for me. Six. Five. Oh, I like to get tired. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, oh we're almost done. Okay. Start with the curtsy. Perfect. Add that side arm raise if you like. Awesome. Give me six more. Four more. Three, two, and one. Legs done. Okay. Stand nice and tall. Lift to shoulder height and lower. Lift. Good. Six. Exhale to come up. Inhale to go down. Remember, if you have to put that weight down. So, okay. I know you're working hard. Two. And one. Other side. Lift. Left. Six. Five. Listen to your body. Four. Three. Two. One. One more exercise. Let me get the mats. Good job. Okay. Right here. Lift it up. Drop it down. Are you engaging your core? Good. Remember, if you want to do these ones, you totally can. Just remember to switch arms after a little bit. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Okay, grab a drink and bring that beautiful mat. Bring a towel back. Maybe you're on carpet. The towel works just fine. You can have a yoga mat, whatever you need. Okay. So to start, we're going to turn to the side. You want one weight on either side of your mat. Let's just give it a little bit of an angle. Okay. So from here, I want you to draw those abs in, scoop, and just think back and you can kind of feel them talking to you. What are they saying? Let's stop that. It's making me work. Okay, that's what they're saying. From here, you can have your arms out. You can lift one leg and just alternate with me to start. But you want to feel like your core is holding you. Maybe it's starting to vibrate a little bit. Good. Hold it in. Nice. Four. Three, two, one. Come on up. We're going to grab those weights. We're going to come all the way down to the mat. And your option, tuck those heels in. Rest those weights just on your hips there. From there, you're going to lift up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Up, up. Down, down. Good. Up, up. Down, down. Nice. Good. One more. Lift, lift. Down, down. Bring those weights right above your shoulders. Let those arms rest from here. I want you to press up and in and lower down. We're really going to work at going slow. This set of exercises only has three exercises, so we're not in a rush. We go nice and controlled and slow as we press up and bring down. So exhale, inhale for four. We both those abs. Don't forget about them. Three. Two and one. 
give me a little bit of a crunch to put those weights down. Pull a leg to come up. We're gonna start that one all over again. Make sure your weights are nice and heavy beside me. Besides you, not me. All right, from here. So sit down nice and tall. Just draw those abs in as you go back. From here, you take your arms wide. That'll challenge you. And add those alternating leg lifts. Left, left, up, up, nice, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, get, grab those weights, lower yourself down, resting the right leg crook of that hip there. This time we're going to go up in one, down in one. Left, lower, lift. Big squeeze in those glutes. And get to the top. Pushing those hips up and through. Eight, seven, six, five, nice, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it up, we're gonna press and lower. Press and lower. Nice and controlled. Don't let those weights control you. You control their movement. Six, five. Here's the good news. In four, we have one more round to do, and then we are stretching. Two, and one. Very carefully put those weights down. Bring yourself up for one last round. If you need a drink, grab one. It's a little drier in here today. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, shoulder blades tucked in. You're just gonna scoop through those abs as you start to draw your body back from here. You make big arm circles like so. That's going to challenge your core. You can lift one leg, both legs, switch legs. Nice. Four. Three. Good. Two. And one. We've done our core work. Grabbing those weights. Come on down. So we're gonna start it slow. We'll do a little bit of a combo. So we're gonna go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Working our glutes, our hamstrings. Keeping those glutes nice and strong helps protect that low back. Now let's do it in a fluid motion. Up, up. Seven, six, five, four, almost there. Three, two, one. All right, bring those weights. Last set of chest presses and then we're stretching. I'm so excited. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, good work. Six, five, four, three. Hopefully they're starting to feel a little bit heavier. Two, and last one. If they weren't, put those weights down. If it was not feeling heavy, you know what the cool thing is? That means you can just take heavier weights the next time and challenge yourself a little bit. This is the stretch part, the good part, what we've all waited for. I want you to lay down, reach out into a nice big pencil stretch, reaching those fingertips away from your body, pointing those toes. This is the reward at the end of a hard workout. 
We're going to bring one knee into our chest, getting a nice stretch of the back side of that hip, hugging it in nice and tight. You can calm your breathing, relax your body. Let's switch legs, bringing the other one in. Feel free to kick off your shoes, get more comfortable. Bringing those knees into your chest. Nice big hug and a gentle rock side to side. It's almost like a little low back massage. Feels so good. And then as gently as you can, if you need to roll to your side or swing a leg, we're gonna come up to a seated position, facing the front again, facing me, tucking that foot in, other leg goes out, you're gonna sit up nice and tall, big deep breath in, and exhale, hinge at those hips, reaching over, leading with your chest, lengthening up the back side of that leg, a really nice hamstring stretch here. Make sure that when you're stretching, you don't feel any sort of pain, piercing. You want to ease out of that stress if it's causing you any sort of distress. And then tucking that foot behind. We're actually gonna lean away from that leg you just tucked behind, getting a nice stretch in through our quads, in through our hip flexors. Just wanna kinda sit back into it. Hopefully you feel good. Hopefully you feel like you accomplished something today. My favorite part of working out is just how I feel afterwards. It's all good. Ease out of that stretch. Bring that leg back around. We're gonna switch sides. First tucking in that foot. Sitting up nice and tall, big breath in. Exhale, just hinge up those hips, reaching for those toes. If you can, if you're here, that's good too. There's no magic place that you need to be. Just listen to your body. Coming up. We're gonna draw that foot behind, lean away from that leg. Feeling a nice stretch on the front side of that other leg. Should feel really, really good. Nice release of that tension. Today I'm giving you some of my favorite stretches to do after a workout. Easing out of that, I want you to sit up and cross-legged or legs out in front, whatever works for you. You're gonna put a hand down. We're gonna go up and over in a nice big side bend. Feel that lengthening of the entire side of your body. And then if that feels good, if you need just a slight rotation to a front corner, you're gonna feel it move down your back a little bit into those lats, those big muscles that run down the sides of your back. Up and over. Other side, start with that nice deep side bend. And then rotate. that chin to your chest just in case you had any sort of tension of the back side of your neck when you were exercising today or maybe you're feeling really stressed you just need to release all that pressure in there 
Excellent. Bringing your face up. We are going to come up to a standing position. We're going to take our legs nice and wide. Big deep breath in. Exhale, fold over, hang towards that mat. Oh, that feels so good. And then working your way up nice and slow. Roll those shoulders for four, three, two. Another big deep breath in. Exhale, fold over. One more reach for that floor. And coming up nice and slow. Last set of shoulder rolls for four, three, two, and one. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope you feel fantastic. Uh, high five for working out today. Thanks again.